Hey there, it's Shayna, and this video is going to show you how to make instructional GIFs for free in Screencastify. Here's an example of a GIF I made students to show them how to add their last name and page number to their essay in MLA format. And here's another I made for teachers to show them how to rearrange the order of their classes in Google Classroom. As you can see, they play and loop automatically, making GIFs a super helpful instructional tool. So to get started, you'll need the Screencastify Chrome extension, which you can find in the Chrome Web Store or at screencastify.com. Once it's added, it'll show up on the right side of your web browser here. You also may notice that my cursor is purple. That's because I'm using a Chrome extension called Custom Cursor. I have it on all of the time, but I highly recommend using it for instructional videos and GIFs. It just makes your cursor stand out a little bit more, and it's pretty fun too. So next you're going to get ready to record your GIF, and I highly recommend making sure that the task you're demonstrating is short. GIFs work best when the recording is less than 30 seconds. When you're ready, click the icon to start recording. It's going to record as a video first, and then we'll convert it to a GIF when we're done. You can set it to record your browser tab or your desktop. If you're just recording one tab and there won't be any tab switching or pop-ups, you can select browser tab. But if you'll be switching tabs or navigating outside of your web browser for any reason, choose desktop. For GIFs, I always turn off the microphone and the webcam options. If you click show more options, you'll see a button to show the countdown and drawing tools. I like to keep the drawing tools handy, so I'm going to keep that toggled on. So now I'm going to click record and start recording my GIF. Because I have two screens open on my desktop, it's going to ask me to choose which one I want to record. So I'm just going to choose screen one. And now you'll see this little countdown here and I'm ready to go. There are some pretty cool annotation tools down here that you can play around with. There's the pen feature, which will allow you to draw directly on the screen, which is pretty neat. And there's also an option to add shapes and stickers as well. I'm not going to use any for today's GIF that I'm about to make, but I just wanted to show you that those are there. For visual purposes, I always think it's helpful to have one of the mouse pointer options on. I like this one right here that shows all of the clicks that you make. It'll just kind of circle it in red. This focus tool can also help your audience follow along. There's the classic cursor and a fireworks cursor as well. So now I'm going to select the clicks option and start my GIF. So right now I'm recording my screen showing how to bold text in a Google Doc comment. If you didn't know how, it's actually pretty cool. All you do is add asterisks around the text that you want bolded. So again, I'm recording my screen and when I'm done, I'm going to click this little button right down here. So now I've got my recording and I could leave it as is, but I'm going to open it in the editor and make a couple of minor adjustments. So to do that, I'm going to click open in editor. This is going to give us access to some basic editing tools like cropping and zooming. So down here are your editing tracks and I'm going to zoom in a bit just to make the editing process a little bit easier. And right now I'm going to crop actually the beginning and end of the GIF because I was actually recording my video while I was playing around with the, you know, annotation tools before. So I obviously don't need that in my GIF. So to crop it out, I'm just going to do a kind of a click and drag and that's just going to crop the video from the beginning. So I'm just going to get rid of all of that. And actually, I'm going to put a little bit of that back on, just kind of drag it back over this way. And you can preview your GIF at any time by clicking the play button just to make sure everything looks the way that you think it should look. All right, and now I'm just going to crop a little bit off of the end there, and that should be good. If you need to crop out anything from the middle for whatever reason, you can do that using the cut tool. Basically just click on the track on either side of the part you want to cut and just delete that part. I don't actually want to do that though, so I'm going to undo that and move on. Okay, so now that I've cropped everything that I want to crop, I'm going to add a zoom effect. This makes it infinitely easier for your audience to follow whatever you're trying to show them. So you're going to put your cursor on the track where you want to start the zoom and then click the zoom icon. Over here you can set the transition speed, but I just leave it at 0.5. So you can see on the editing track, I've got this green box here, and that's my zoom. When you click on it, you can select the area that you want your video to zoom in on. So you can just kind of resize it like that. And again, you can preview your GIF by clicking this play button down here. So, okay, that looks good, but it zooms out a little bit too quickly. So just to set the zoom for longer, I'm just going to click and drag it over, probably about till the end here. And I'll just do a quick preview to make sure everything looks the way that I want it to look. 
So I'll click that play button, just kind of play it all the way through. And yeah, everything looks good. So what I'm going to do next is click the blue export button at the top right here, and I'm going to export it to my Google Drive. So I'm going to save my video with a name that makes sense for the topic of the video, of course. I'll call this how to bold text in Google comments, and I'll click save. What it's going to do now is process the video and save it directly to my Google Drive. Now that it's done, I'm going to click view video. Now I could stop here. I of course have a really helpful instructional video that has saved directly to my Google Drive, but I'm going to take it one step further and download it as a GIF as well. So to do that, I'm going to click download and export animated GIF. It's going to give you the option to select the size of your GIF. I usually just leave it as the default. If you have a GIF that's too big, sometimes things can get laggy and you can always come in and download a bigger GIF later if you find that the quality isn't what you were looking for. Once the GIF is done exporting, you're gonna click download GIF and it's going to download right to your computer. So that's how to make a GIF for free in Screencastify. But before we go, let's go ahead and drop this GIF in a Google Slides presentation. So I'm going to click insert image and then since the GIF is on my computer, I'm going to select upload from computer. So now I've got the GIF on the Google slide and I can resize it from the corner right there, drag it around wherever I want. And of course I'm going to add a border and a quick drop shadow in the format options because it just looks better that way. And there you go. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tech tips and tricks. Thanks so much for your support and I will see you in the next video.